Hello everyone and welcome to OG Spots. In this episode we're gonna discuss another very helpful thing and that's gonna be how to add sockets to normal armor bases and that also includes ethereal bases and what I've got prepared here is two ethereal bases of uh, elite uh, armors and that's Archon Plate and a Kraken Shell. As you can see both of them have really high defense and if you don't have the Warzer quest available to add four open sockets to them, you can try another thing, and that's a Coradric Cube recipe. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what I mean. First up, we're gonna put our armor in the Coradric Cube, and then we're also gonna add a Tau room, a Two room, and a perfect Topaz gem. Right after that, all you have to do is to click the transmute button. And take a note that this recipe does not work on a superior basis. And what I mean by that is if this was a superior Kraken shell, the recipe will not work on it. So it have to be normal, which means it's gonna be a white or gray if it's ethereal. And now let's click the transmute button. Another thing to mention is that uh, it can roll between one and four open sockets for elite armors. So let's have a look what we got this time. And now we got four open sockets crack and shell with a very high defense. And that's a really nice base for a mercenary armor to make a stone run world or a fortitude for example. And let's go ahead and try the second one now so that's a archon plate and this one specifically i'd like to get two open sockets for another wrong board so let's go ahead and see what we got and this time we got three open sockets again you can make a run wards into this armor which can also be helpful for a mercenary there are a couple of different options which you can make like duress for example this can be really decent option for a mercenary or the other armor which you can make is the one with the two, two assassin skills and the charges and this is also a really nice armor the one with the attack speed I forgot how it's being called right now but you know what I mean and yeah, there you have it, uh, another quick example of how to add sockets to normal armor bases. And another pro tip from me, don't use this method to make a high-end run wards. Basically because the value of the high-end run wards, you invest so much in them that you probably want to have a superior base with 15% enhanced defense to start. And yeah, that's about it for this one guys, you know what to do, stay tuned for the next one and see you later, bye.